everyone, I am Mecha Random 42 your favorite YouTube Harpy, and I do apologize for the echo room, it is like two days before the move, but I have a little bit of an update again on the Rotten Tomatoes Shira score, so I, I did kind of gloss over these a bit, um, I, I wanted to do a little more digging before I really, really called these out, but um, yeah, so, so Shira and the Princess of Power, let, let, let's, just, let's just pull it up here. It is up to a 40% now in the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Let me pull that up here for you guys. It is up to a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. So now it was at a zero for a while, but your average audience rating is about a two and a half out of five. Let's just go ahead and click on this and see what all of the audience people have to say. Now, there, there's a lot, there, there's, a, there's a pattern here of um, any time you, you get these um questionable. I don't know if they're false. I'm just going to say questionably inflated scores on Rotten Tomatoes where, you know, they, they have people who have, let's just click you at random. You, you have, you, you are a member since November. So you just created this account and yeah, I, I don't want to click on your name. So you just might be a, a random person you just made the account today to give it a five star with no, not, not saying anything. Um, who, who else can we do? How about you? Gave it a five star in November. Yeah. In November without, without giving it any sort of score. There is a pattern here to all of the, to a lot of the people um how about you i'm just clicking these at random um never since oh august okay so that's a little different but this is the only thing you you've rated huh there's a lot of these people who i bet i bet november for you too let me click you are you november november 2018 exactly <sighs> Um, let me see any other people. Let me, let me go in a few pages, just a few, just a few pages in. Let me, let me go to like page four. There's a lot of these people. You'll notice a trend. They will have a name and then a last initial and, and they don't have anything else. In November since 2018, again, 2018, another one. Uh, how about you? Rose Tico. How about you? <laughs> Rose Toes. Rose Toes. November 2018. Again, 2018. <laughs> November 2018. Now, I'm not saying that these are bots. I'm not saying that these aren't real people. November 2018. Again, same damn thing. This might be, in my opinion, might be some sort of a PR firm that just makes a whole bunch of names. 2018. November 2018. Makes a bunch of new accounts just to create falsely inflated or at least questionable we don't know if these are real people or not they may have enjoyed the show they may not have how about you five star november 2018 oh january oh and you have a ratings history yay a real person somebody who rated something yay not all of them but i'm just saying just at random we're just clicking some of these at random how about julia l julia L. Jul okay how about you november 2018 nothing else rated there's a lot of these questionable accounts that might be, in my opinion, might be, why, why do you have a percentage in your name? 2%. I don't know. Oh, you rated Black Panther. Okay, so you might be a real person. November 2018, November 2018. They might be a PR firm creating a whole bunch of fake accounts, or they might be a lot of people who work in the production. <laughs> no recent history 2018 november 2018 just so many of these yes let's go lesbians <sighs> that's because that's a review yeah you like it because there's less guess what you can go to pornhub or x hamster or any of the porn sites and get actual lesbians but you know whatever if you want to see underage cartoon girls who almost make out that's up to you whatever i don't care person november 2018 november 2018 <sighs> yeah so I could go on and on about the the questionable scores. They might be real people. They might be genuine people out there genuinely wanting to review this. Or they might be people making a lot of email addresses, working for a PR firm to falsely inflate these um, these scores, to, to give it a better perception on Rotten Tomatoes than the 0% that it was out there. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to our, our good friend SC Reviews. Um, you guys probably already subscribed to him. He's an awesome Australian YouTuber, part of the whole fandom menace, the community here. He made a video doing pretty much this exact same thing with Star Wars Resistance, where he found and he went through and randomly did pretty much the same thing. And, and yeah, so this is exactly where where I got the idea to do this. Thank you so much for doing that video because now that you've done that video, 
it puts it into my mind to question the Shira reviews. And, and you know, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll, I'll go and kind of do the same thing here on the Star Wars Resistance reviews. Remember how nobody liked that and it had an insanely high score on Rotten Tomatoes just out of the blue? So if anybody remembers Star Wars Resistance, you know, you have all of these accounts that were probably created. This came out in October, right? Or November? Um, let's see, November 2018. Yeah, no no profile, nothing else. How about you? No, November 2018, Martin C? November 2018. Um, Randy N, Randy Newman, how about you? November 2018? It is Randy Newman, holy shit. <laughs> I just said that at random. <laughs> My God, wait, when you're making fake names, uh, don't go with like composers. Let's go in a couple deep. Brandy J, how about you? Are you a real person? November, 20, November 2018. November 2018, uh-huh. How about uh, Melinda R? 28 November 2018. Yep, five stars with no reviews, no profile, they nothing else. All of these questionable November 2018, November 2018. Aaron Goldman. Oh lord, let's let's go down. See, these are real reviews. You know, the show is crap. Now this is Star Wars Resistance that we're looking at right now. Bill N, Bill Nye, what did you give it? Bill Nelson, November 2018. You do not reviewed anything else. Uh, y- you you have to question these um how about stan h stan h november 20 november 2018 again when you get just such an an jakey jakey lee how about you (laughs) november 2018 the only thing you know you have nothing you want to see you just created this oh my god just a wall of these fake positive reviews november 2018 and I'm not saying they, these might be real people for all we know. They might be real people. Let's, let's go down another. They got 119 pages of this stuff. Oh, uh, Ryan S., how about you? Number 2018. Again, these are so questionable. I don't know why they don't delete these. Rick E., how about you? November 2018. And, and it's the same thing. And we, we see this over and over and over again. This is the same thing with Star Wars Resistance and the same thing with Shira. This is what they have in common. This is what the, the media seems to be doing i don't know for sure i i can't tell i can't tell how about victoria b are you a real person november 2018 back to the shira reviews this is insane this is crazy emory s are you a real person november 2018 oh my god emma g real person or not 2018 november 20 november 2018 every single one of these And they go on and on and on for pages of this. Pages of these people. You know, Zoe W, how about you? November 2018. November 2018. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this up. (laughs) Are are you really, do you really think we're this stupid? If we kind of look in here and we see walls of these sort of questionable accounts, do you really think that these that we're going to sit there and say, oh no, it's not that bad, 40%. We know to go through and click on this. We, we understand when we see just a wall of, you know, the, the first name and then a last initial and you click on, and, and they have no picture, no profile picture. They have no, I mean, you can program a bot to do this, to create email accounts and, and you know, just randomize names. You can pick a first and a last name out of some, you, you can create a program to do this so easily how do they allow that and i'm not saying that they're doing that 100 i'm saying i'm speculating that they are because it's so fishy that you just have a wall of these people why would all these people care enough to leave a review with with just five stars for no reason with with no description not saying why they like it not saying anything about it not saying what they want to see never reviewing anything else all these accounts are just created now it's so fishy to me. Do you guys think these are bots? Do you think these are, you know, here's the real Russian bot conspiracy right here. No, I, I, I really think that this is a hired public relations or a marketing firm, probably a marketing firm, some marketing firm that specializes in social media that has some computer programmer or, or has purchased some software to create a script to go in and randomize names to like pull a whole list of first and last names out of a list and create five-star reviews, create new email addresses, new accounts, new Facebook profiles, just to create these reviews. Because I think with Rotten Tomatoes, you have to like log in with an email or Facebook or something. You have to have some sort of other login for Rotten Tomatoes. So they're creating all these new logins this month, all at once to give these shows between Shira and Star Wars Resistance, 
all of these falsely inflated audience scores. I think that's what they're doing. I can't 100% prove it, but it's so fishy. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is what they're doing? I am, I would not put it, I wouldn't put it past them because they love, you know, they love saying, oh, Russian bots don't like this movie. Russian bots don't like this movie. You know, he who smelt it dealt it. Perhaps, you know, perhaps doth protest too much. Maybe, maybe, I, I, I like he who smelt it dealt it is a little better. You know, it, it's back to that. You know, you guys are so quick. The, 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 the toxic media is so quick to say it's a Russian bot saying that we don't like, like, Star Wars The Last Jedi or She-Ra now, probably. That'll be the next thing. Oh, only Russian bots don't like She-Ra because, you know, they can't prove that we're sexist and racist because we're not. We just don't like your show. Same thing with Star Wars Resistance. We're not sexist or racist. It just looked like a bad cartoon. And I didn't watch it because the trailer looked dumb. It looked really cheesy and corny. And, and yeah, I know it's a little show for little kids, but same thing with Shira. When, when you have these, these scores with these questionable reviews, you, you got to think something suspicious. Why would hundreds of people go and create these accounts today just to leave a five-star review and not say anything? You're going to go to the trouble to create a review on Rotten Tomatoes, right? To, to go in and leave a score. Why wouldn't you say why you liked it? Why wouldn't you say any of that? Why wouldn't you say, oh, I liked it because I thought she was cute or I liked the voice acting or I liked the back. Why wouldn't you say that? You're just going to go in. And, and that's what that's what makes me think it's a script. It's something. It's not a lot of people creating fake accounts. I think it's some sort of program to go in and create all these accounts, create um, email addresses to go in and randomize names and leave five-star reviews with nothing else. That's why you don't have any want to seize. You don't have any other reviews on a lot of these. And sometimes you have people who do have other reviews that, that have their, their no profile pick and their first name, last initial. Sometimes they do have, I do want to see this, but sometimes they don't. You know, sometimes they don't. <sighs> also, you know, I'm not like saying any of these are like, Real people are not, you know, obviously I'm not sharing anybody's information out there that's not out there in the public. This is not any private information for anything. This is just on a public website. I'm not even singling out any of these people. I'm just saying, you know, these reviews might not be exactly 100% legit. All of these five-star reviews. There's just hundreds of them. There are hundreds of them. And, and they just go on for page after page. I'm gobsmacked. I, I really am. <laughs> And, and thank you guys so much um, for, for pointing this out on Twitter, Chad H especially. Thank you guys so much for pointing this out to me. It's, it's kind of crazy how, just how many of these, of these bot accounts or, or fake accounts or whatever that, that, might, that they might be using to falsely inflate even viewer scores. So you really have to go in and do your research and read what people are actually writing. And when you see just a wall of five-star reviews with no comments and you click on them at random and they all say creative November 2018, that really makes me think something fishy is going on. That really makes me think that they don't want anybody to know that it's actually bad. They, they're, they're, trying, they're trying to censor us. They're trying to... They're, they're trying to... <laughs> I hate you. This false flag isn't the term. They're, they're trying to falsely inflate their review scores. In my opinion, I don't know for sure if they're doing it. I can't say one way or another, but it really seems fishy to me. What do you guys think? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Mecha Random 42 your favorite YouTube harpy, and I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye!